Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is an actor, content and scriptwriter, poet and freelance presenter. She's equally very versatile and creative with voiceovers and oral presentation. She's a graduate of law at Holborn College London and North American University Benin Republic. She's also the founder of Child Hero Global Care Foundation, an NGO that caters to the empowerment of orphans and disadvantaged children. Let's make welcome one of the lead characters of Nigeria's first ever series on Netflix, Jinoye Chidolu. Hello. One rose and the crowd goes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I feel like calling you yeah. Boma. Boma, right? Mm. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going? Being Fine, a poet, spoken you. word artist, actress, writer. I mean, there are too much. So, I, uh, how it, do you juggle it all? Uh, well, I, I think I'm glad to finally say I can put uh, finally put everything into perspective. For the first time ever, I was able to bring my spoken word into a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, and director Obi Emile gave me that experience, and it's been going well mm -hmm. so far, so good. Okay. I'm a great fan of spoken words, so can we just start the show with you believing something? No, I was hoping not. <laughs> <laughs> can we end the even, show even, with even it? Even if it's just um, five words, just try something. Hmm. Let's, let's just see how you do your thing. Truthfully, I haven't done spoken word performance in a while. Uh, but let's see. Uh, my ears goes... <laughs> <laughs> no, let's no, do no, 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 go, 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 go. Work, if yeah. you're whack, we'll tell you you're whack. And if you're good, we'll tell you, we'll <laughs> yeah. give you the Can we just <laughs> move on, man? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> so just try, just try. I mean it, can we move on? <laughs> okay, so, all right, so but, aside uh, that, let's, <laughs> let's focus on the fact that um, you started to be a lawyer and now uh -huh. you're doing something. Mm -hmm. Now, did you know that um, this was what you wanted to do before doing the law or you just wanted to bag the certificate? Or you actually wanted to practice as a lawyer, but life happens and then you ended up doing something you love? Truthfully, I'm not going to be decent to say I didn't know and then somewhere along the line I actually knew I wanted to be a media girl But at the initial stage it wasn't clear It wasn't clear and you just have to put priorities first Priority was going to school getting that certificate and all that stuff I knew there's always been this thing about law well, because I say I talk too much, I argue a lot and all that, and I like defending and putting my mouth where, <laughs> you know, so uh, I just went to school to study law because that was already what I did for my foundation in law degree. Mm -hmm. So I continued the same in at Bene Republic, North American University. But whilst I was in school, I had my first audition, you know, of which I was, I, it happened when I was on holiday. So uh, after the first audition, I didn't know what it was like. I just wanted to give it a try. You know, and it was meant to be an emotional um, uh, character, you know, and it was meant to be freestyle as well. So they said, do something. So I just figured, okay, let me just um, create a scenario where I just got the news that HIV positive and all that. And I, and I acted it out and the judges started crying. You know, not crying literally, but they got emotional and they're like, did this happen to you for a fact? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, and they're like, well, what have you been doing? Where? And I said, well, I don't know. I've been writing, as far as I remember. I've been trying to pitch to producers. So the only thing I've been pitching was, I know how to write. Please let me write your movie for you and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember I was always talking mm -hmm. this one Elliot at the time. But when, when that day happened, it opened up something for me. So I said, well, maybe there is really something in this area for you. you know, and they casted me immediately. Well, even though the project didn't, eventually um, follow up. We, we filmed a couple scenes and whatever happened, but it opened up the gateway for me. So, and I felt more comfortable doing it. I used to be very shy initially. I would doubt myself, but then I'll still go. Well, they say do it scared. Mm -hmm. So I'll still go, I'll mm -hmm. do my thing, you know. But along the line, it got more interesting because I'll go for audition. Getting callbacks was encouraging. I'll get callbacks and all that stuff. The career just began somewhere along the line. So even whilst I was in school juggling this whole acting thing, I knew that right after school I was going to jump right into it. So. Nice. so still talking acting, you're an actor. So how interesting and challenging has it been? <sighs> Anyone then there's this whole story it's... about the industry where as a female for you to get a good role, uh -huh. you got to get up the ladder right there. Somebody mm -hmm. definitely wants to sleep with you. So have you experienced any of those? Let's, let's get talking. I said, I'm not going to lie and say I've not experienced it. Okay. But then, I think before coming into this industry, you have to decide for yourself what you really want to get out of it. Because if you, the trend you start with, you will follow up with. Mm -hmm. So if you start by um, 
accepting um, situations that they throw at you. For example, you know, a producer says to you, you have to sleep with me to get this role. If you continue so, the news is going to spread. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to talk to each other. They're going to tell each other, I mean, you have to just sleep with her and give her anything. So for me, I told myself to not be in a rush. I told myself to also focus on other hustles. So there was a time when I was really very active on my blog. I was doing blog comp literary competitions. Elsie must be so pissed at me that I stopped blogging. I'm sorry. The industry became so tedious. But, you know, I was doing a lot of things. So I don't feel like, you know, I am wasting my time pursuing this acting thing. So that way, I didn't really feel like time was going by and somewhere you know along the line you know everything started taking shape and um, I just found my balance and I realized I could fly with it now so nice. awesome yeah. great now are you a better actor I mean a role character or a better theme writer I mean what would you say you you best at I think the audience will have it. I think I would only say I'm still growing on both sides yeah. okay. both as a writer and as an actor you know um, let me talk Crazy Lovely Cool for a bit because it's 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 Crazy in, Lovely Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Netflix yeah. series okay. Crazy Lovely Cool currently um, airing on Netflix, obviously directed by um, OBM Eloy. So when I got called for the uh, to play the character Boma, I didn't know how to feel, but I just knew that this was gonna be it. You know, it actually happened to be the biggest job I'd ever done in my entire career up to date. Mm. Mm. You know, and the fact that director Obi, you know, trusted me well enough for this character, you know, it happens to be a lead, and I was playing lead among the giants, I mm. mean, the well-known names and faces and all that. How but did that I, make you feel? Uh, I felt good, but at the same time, I, f I always felt like I cannot disappoint myself, I cannot disappoint those that trusted, uh, those that believe in me, I cannot disappoint my director, I cannot, I really needed to make it work because I just knew that this was going to be a, a milestone for me. I already mm. knew it from the get-go, so I knew okay, that I would... Let's talk about mm -hmm. Crazy Lovely Cool, the set. Uh -huh. In Soka, because I remember when you were in Soka and you were telling me you were shooting something. Yeah. You wanted to travel for months, yeah. right? What was it like to achieve that project? Because it's been trending. People uh -huh. have been talking about mm -hmm. it. It's Nigeria's first, mm -hmm. and it's kind of making us proud, right? Mm -hmm. So what was it like being on set with Adesuwa and all that, and dealing with courtism, gay? Mm -hmm. What was it like to make that happen? Well, it was very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. I'm not even going to lie. The, the production was well bonded. Everyone was relatable. Everyone connected easily. You know, I played most of my scenes with Adesua and uh, it, it went really well. We had such a good bonding that I would love it to be repeated. I think uh, director Obi knew what he wanted and he just went for it. I also believe that he didn't want uh, perf perfect perfection as an actor. That's why he went to the grassroots, you know, he went straight to the campus, mm. in the heart of the campus. Mm. He wanted something fresh off the bat, you know, something that people can watch and relate to. I felt like there were so many raw talents in that Yeah, series. they were, they were. Were they found at Nsuka or... Most of them. I'll, I'll say 80% most of them. So oh, aside... Was, was there a form of training for everyone that was on mm -hmm. set that was a raw talent? Was it, or they just jumped in? Well, there was class? training, but it's not that type of rigorous training because he wanted more of raw than mm -hmm. technical. Okay. Yeah, he wanted more of raw. So if he, wanted, techni if he wanted technical, he already went for the other stars like uh, Adesua, Itomi, Eina, Uru uh, and, and uh, Zinel Zhu, mm -hmm. you know, but then he also wanted raw. He wanted something that the average youth in, in Niger Nigerian African campuses can relate to. Mm -hmm. And we got that in our feedbacks. I think it worked, you know, so um, uh, the production itself was really very interesting. Oh, like I said, the director knew what he wanted. The, the, te the technical um, 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 way he he put together his the facilities used to film like he I knew I remember he used the latest Aria Mira to film it and you know he, he, everything just was just in place so all the actor needed to do was to just come and, and be deliver. yourself mm. just be yourself mm -hmm. you know everything was well taken care of the crew was spot on everything was I felt good I felt in my own skin I mean naturally I'm not such a tomboy apart from my dress down days but. Playing the character Boma, I it was really easy for me to slide into the character mm -hmm. and just really be myself most of the time. 
what would you say that story would do for Nigerians in school and people that have gone through school? Because I want to believe there's a lesson to be learned. Nostalgic memory for okay. one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, most of from most of the feedbacks, we, we see people that have graduated from many years ago. It's bringing back memories. So the conversation is going on and on. You know, it's it's creating this type of appreciation. Mm. Like I said, uh, campus series hasn't been done in a long while. In fact, the last campus series I ever remember watching, I'm sorry, it might be disappointing, be I need to know. I need to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be I need to that, know. Because, so, yeah. I mean, so this brought back, and everyone is, you know, eating for a season two now. So I didn't know how the audience was going to take it because I thought, I mean, they're not used to this type of content anymore. But the appreciation we got from the first day started um, debuting on Netflix, it was really, really commendable. You know, and um, I really appreciate how our audience took it, you know, accepted it well, and we all feel encouraged. And I'm sure, you know, maybe there will be a season two. Season no two. spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. I'm, I'm guessing too. <laughs> so, aside that, what are you working on present projects in, in the pipeline? Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I am. Um, I have some movies in the works, obviously, and I, I am looking. I'm doing. I'm co trying to concentrate more on producing now my own stuff. Mm. Obviously, acting too and writing, but I want to be making more movies come 2020. And there is already some works in the line. That's as mm. far as I can say. But. Uh, watch out for some of my works, especially uh, Sleep Away, the movie. It's a movie that centers on this psychological uh, a problem people experience, you know, when, when, when they sleep and, and they become unconscious, they become in an unconscious state. So it's like when they wake up, they are not fully awake, they are still in the unconscious state. So that little um, short span of time, mm -hmm. anything can happen. Oh, wow. Yeah, so not, not much spoilers again, but just watch out for Sleep Away the movie. That's the next thing to come out from my work come 2020. Variety. All the best for that. Man. Thank you, thank you so much. So are you going to perform now? Uh, <laughs> We actually she, have to. She, she really have doesn't to. want to. You didn't prepare me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us a few lines. Something you've done before, it doesn't yeah. have to be fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, anything about sorry, not to make an excuse for her, right? The, the thing about spoken word. Your excuse me, not work. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can you reenact um, your performance exactly. when they gave you the yeah. news that you were HIV positive? Can you just reenact that? Yeah, hey, I feel comfortable doing oh, wow. that. Oh wow! I've been do doing more acting. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. But we'll pick yeah. back that spoken word thing again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's try that. I don't know how to take this, doctor. Did you really mean it? How can I hate be positive? No, it wasn't meant to happen. I have children. How's my husband gonna take it? Doctor, can you redo this test? Can you please redo this test? It can't be. I'm sure the doctor will definitely be. <laughs> 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 okay, you got us for oh real. Yeah, that's how we wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, or Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors Benny Akani Feldu Washington, and the entire production team. And of course, Chinoye Chidolui. Thank, thank you for you, being Plus here. TV. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.